What up everybody, I'm just going to show you about the getting to know your quad stick. When you first buy it, you're just going to get the front piece only. I had to buy the adapters and I'll put the link in the description below. You get like a 7 to 10 foot cable. It also comes with, um, if you buy the adapters, it starts to come with a ram mount double socket arm, a ram mount one inch ball. God damn, I can't read through it. But you'll get the, all the link in the description below. I'm not a... Uh, it just attaches to the table and it kind of makes it to where the table isn't always over my body so I kind of prefer this one there are cheaper ones but I like this one alright now I'm going to show you the normal button functions using the Devolve Profile Mode 1 you got your left sip, left puff, these are all repetitive center sip, center puff, right sip, right puff you kind of start getting the picture here then you got your left center sip, is both of them together. Left center puff, right center sip, right center puff. Triple sip, triple puff, it's all three. Then you got your left sip softs. You have to sip it for softly for one second. Puff it softly for one second. Then you got your center puff soft. Right sip soft. Right puff soft. Yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of combinations. Every new combination can be a new button. You can customize it to your liking. I'm just showing you that it's there. All right. Now we got all that taken care of. We got the lip sensor tools at the bottom. Up, down, left, right is the movement of the joystick. Then on the side tube, that actually changes modes, profiles. If you hold it for 1.5 seconds, you'll be able to scan through the profiles. Right here is all my profiles that I've made. So you'll notice me scanning through it real quick. They may not sync up, but I'm just showing you that that's how it works in the quad stick there every little light every time it changes is a new mode and or a profile and once you want the profile you want just click it and it goes by alphabetical order boop you got the default profile skimming through right now I'm on the second mode third mode fourth fifth right there you can read on the side what each mode does on the default and on the bottom right it moves it now onto the quad stick manager I rarely use it, but it is important to know what it does. When you first load it, you'll look at the bottom left hand corner. You'll see that uh, what's happening, it reads the quad stick, it's ready for uh, improvement. And you're going to click on the second tab, it's a joystick. Uh, on the top right hand corner, you could click on the little check mark boxes to control which arrows at the same time. You can control all the horizontal arrows, or the vertical ones, or all of them at the same time, or none. It's pretty simple. Uh, each, each uh, in the middle of each arrow, you notice a number. Mine's 30 when I started off. That's the sensitivity I wanted at. And uh, it's good to know that the higher you put it, the less sensitive it becomes. If the number is like under 10 or 20, it becomes very sensitive, and you kind of don't want that because then you'll be flying around the whole map. If you're playing a game, you're not gonna like it. It's so I tend to find a find a sweet spot. Mine was 30. It's good sensitivity. And you can just, just adjust it. Vertical, I like to keep it at 22. Uh, I think I messed up on the bottom of mine. I need to adjust it myself. But uh, the center is the deadlock zone. And that one, uh, how much pressure it takes to turn on the quad stick to understand that it needs to start moving. Moving on to the sip and puffs, you don't need to move anything there. I left everything default. It just shows you how much pressure again, just like anything else. The greater, the more sensitive, the less sensitive. Less not of the number is a uh, more sensitive. The misc is uh, I actually could, uh, moved it to 50 on the mouse speed on the first column. It's going way too fast, but on the default speed. So when I moved to 50, that's uh, pretty generic. On the right side, it sees devices SSP, authorization 4, and connected pair. Uh, I was actually using my quad stick with the Bluetooth, so yours may not look the same. I didn't like the Bluetooth, so I took it off or just left it alone. And now you got the digital output 1 and 2. I leave those unchecked on mine. If uh, Just leave yours as default as is. I never really touched mine, so I don't remember if it was checked or non checked, but it doesn't really bother my, my quad stick.
And the most important part, game files. On your left side is uh, where the quad stick games that are downloaded onto the quad stick. And on the right side is what's on the internet script. Basically the ones that are provided by Fred Davison. And you can either scan it, which is a factory profiles on the internet. You can uh, put your own link on your Google Drive and or spreadsheet. Just copy and paste your address. And once done, it will give you authorization to just manually get it off the internet without using the Quadsic Manager. You can edit it just by highlighting one. Click Edit and bam, it's going to open it. So that's where you can download it manually if you want. Just click on Download As and CVS. Usually there's a Quadsic tab also on the website, but you have to just uh, sync up with it by scanning your custom profile first then it'll give you authorization on that just when you like a profile just click it download it to Quadsic and there you go just make sure not to delete your default and preferences CVS files you can re-download them here and if not I'll provide them as well because sometimes Quadsic manager gets really funky so I don't like using it you got your voice files same thing as game files but for Bluetooth if you are using Bluetooth I'll make another tutorial if asked uh, firmware mine's 964 it's an older version but if it's not broken why change it right uh, you can uh, upgrade to the new ones I think the new ones just help with the PC on the arrow movements like up down left right they're not really in sync but with the new versions they are and the last one is for if you own track IR control I guess uh, I'm not really too sure about it but my guess is is uh, the device that moves with your eye movement and or head movement. That's why it's uh, ready for calibration. I don't have it. But on that, that's pretty much it. Generic, basic. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm a little quick at talking. Bye.